Hello students, welcome to another video lecture on logic design. In this video, we will learn about complement arithmetic. Complements are used in digital computers in order to simplify the subtraction operation and for logical manipulations. It is basically a very smart method as it permits subtraction without having to think about borrowing from adjacent columns, especially when you use finite length arithmetic. I want you to remember the word finite length arithmetic. For every number system with a base or a radix r, there are two types of complements. The radix complement referred to as the r's complement and the diminished radix complement referred to as r minus 1 complement. For example, if you take the octal number system with the radix as 8, we will have the diminished radix complement as 7's complement and the radix complement as 8's complement. Let us start with the binary number system. The diminished radix complement is 1's complement. So in this video, we will learn 1's complement arithmetic. Recollect from a previous video that to find the 1's complement of a binary number, you need to subtract each binary digit from 1. Using 1's complement arithmetic, we can perform subtraction of two binary numbers without the need for borrows. So the process becomes much easier. Obviously, there is a method or an algorithm to do this and it looks like this. You will understand each of these steps with the working of an example. Let us take an example of 25 minus 14. Note that both these numbers are in decimal. In subtraction, the first number is always called as the minuend and the second number is the subtrahend. So in this case, 25 is the minuend and 14 is the subtrahend. In order to do one's complement arithmetic, you need to convert these numbers to binary. Also, I had asked you to remember the term finite length arithmetic. This term means that in order to represent a number, for example 25 in binary, I will make use of a certain number of bits to represent the number. So I can use 8 bits to represent 25 in binary. Or I can also choose to represent it using 12 bits, 16 bits or 32 bits. In this example, we will use 8 bits to represent both numbers. So 25, when you convert to binary, we will use double dabble method to do so and it looks like this. Notice the representation is in 8 bits. 14, when you convert it to binary, we get it as 1110. It can also be represented in 8 bits by putting additional zeros. Let us also bring up the algorithm we saw in the previous slide. The first step tells us to add the ones complement of the subtra end to the minuend. The subtra end in this case is 14 and this is its binary representation. Find its ones complement by inverting the numbers. We get it as 11110001. The minuend is 25 and can be represented in binary as 00011001. Let us add this up. 1 plus 1 gives you 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. 1 plus 1 is 0 with a carry of 1. This is the sum. Now this carry that you get is a very special carry. That is why it is highlighted in grey. 
this carry is called as the end around carry. Let us look at the next step in the algorithm. It tells us that if there is a carry, we need to bring it around and add it to the LSV. So let us do that. Bring the carry around and add it to the LSV. We get the answer as 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let us go to the next step in the algorithm. It tells us to check if the MSP is 0. And if the MSP is 0, the result is positive and in true binary form. So let us check the MSP of this number. Notice that the MSP in this case is 0. Since it is 0, we conclude that the result is positive and in true binary form. Convert this binary number to decimal and we get this answer as 11. Let us confirm to see if the answer we've got is correct. Recollect that you are subtracting 25 minus 14. The first number is bigger than the second number. So obviously you are expecting a positive answer. And 25 minus 14 is 11 in decimal, which is the same number that you've got in the above method. Let us take another example. 14 minus 25. Note that both these numbers are in decimal. In subtraction, the first number is always called as the minuend and the second number is the subtrahend. So in this case, 14 is the minuend and 25 is the subtrahend. In order to do one's complement arithmetic, you need to convert these numbers to binary. In this example, we will use 8 bits to represent both the numbers. So convert 14 to binary using double dabble method and it looks like this. Notice the representation is in 8 bits. Also, 25, when you convert to binary, you get the answer as 00011001. This is also represented as 8 bits. Let us bring up the algorithm we saw in the previous slide. The first step tells us to add the 1's complement of the subtra end to the minuend. The subtra end in this case is 25 and this is its binary representation. Let's find its 1's complement by inverting the numbers. So we get it as 11100110. The minuend is 14 and it is represented as 00001110 in binary. Add it up. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 1 plus 0 is 1. This is the sum. Refer to the next step in the algorithm, which tells us if there is a carry, bring it around and add it to the LSB. But in this case, there is no carry. So we move on to the next step in the algorithm, which tells you to check the MSB. In this case, the MSB is 1. Since it is 1, we conclude that the result is negative and in one's complement form. You need to find the one's complement of the result to get its magnitude in true binary form. So, we find the one's complement of the number by inverting the numbers. We get 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Convert this number to decimal to get 11. Also, don't forget to put the negative sign since the answer is negative. Let us confirm to see if the answer you got is correct. 
recollect that you are subtracting 14 minus 25. The first number is smaller than the second number. So obviously you are expecting a negative answer. Also 14 minus 25 is 11 in decimal which is the same number you got in the above method. That's all for now. There will be new videos on 2's complement arithmetic coming up soon. Connect to the classroom for more videos and learning material.